just go check that one. <coughs> Gentlemen, Infomante Radio is now live at the coast. Tune in now. All right, let's do this. At 103.3 FM. And welcome, Infomante's radio, to the coast. Infomante Radio. Only the best music. Time on Informante Radio now to exactly uh, two minutes past 12 for these. You are in the company of the hour with uh, Kofi here on this beautiful Friday morning today, the 21st of August. Nice to have all our listeners and, of course, all our viewers with us. And, uh, yeah, still a little bit of a chilly Friday this morning, but hopefully in terms of the weather, it will pick up and become a little bit more warmer and mild tomorrow and also on Sunday. Well, in the meantime, I've got a very special guest here in the Informante Radio Studios with us this afternoon, this morning. Uh, nobody but Trish Gerber. Trish is from m and Building and Painting Contractors. And uh, Trish, it's absolutely nice to have you with us here in the studio. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, Trish, we are talking, uh, you know, construction. We're talking about building um, everything your name says in terms of m and uh, Building and Painting Contractors. Uh, how did m and Building and Painting Contractors start? All right, m and Building and Painting Contractors started approximately about six, six and a half years ago. We mostly initially um, did painting contracts um, in the, on the Liesenheim because there was a little bit of a niche market where the builders required a painting team to complete their projects to completion. Right. So, so your business is, is, is at the moment focused in, into Elysenheim because there's so much development, isn't it? Yes, the building is definitely focused into Elysenheim, but the painting is mainly focused for myself at the moment is in Ochimuse, where I'm busy with a 900 house painting project. Wow, that's fantastic. Well done. Okay, so um, coming back to Elysenheim, uh, what was the main purpose for building the Kiddies Play Park on Elysenheim? Well, my husband and I, we are both builders um, and residents of Elysenheim. And we started thinking, what do these children really get to do in Elysenheim? It's such an, a beautiful environment. But also with this lockdown situation or being sort of restricted to the home environment, we thought, what can Morris and I do to basically promote a space for children to play safely out, outside on, on the streets? Sure, sure. Uh, Elysenheim is a, is a very safe area. Elysenheim is an exceptionally safe area. I can probably tell you between the lines, I very rarely lock my own home. Wow, okay. It is that safe. Right. And the neighbors, you get to know them across the street, so it's an absolute unique environment that you live in. Um, but there's no spaces for the children to actually go and play sure. off the streets because obviously with increased development in Elysenheim, mm -hmm. there's also increased traffic in Elysenheim with the, with the vehicle. So we basically want to create a safe space for the kids. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Okay, then just in closing, uh, is there uh, any advice for other people who are considering uh, wanting to move to Elysenheim? Well, basically, is what we just latched on pre um, previously is that Elysenheim is such a unique, safe environment to sure. live in. Um, although people always think it's so far out of town, it isn't really. If you go into the bypass, within 10 minutes you are in, in town. But on the weekends you have that beautiful, you have the mountains around you, you have the quiet around you, and also just the the community itself who is so supportive of each other. So my yeah. advice is really 
um, don't hesitate, come move to Elisenheim because it is absolutely beautiful. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Well, nobody but uh, Trish Gerber from uh, MNT Building and Painting Contractors. Trish, so nice to have you in the studios here with us this morning. Also, what you are doing for uh, the kids, but you know, b b building the playing park in Elisenheim. We'd like to thank you and of course to our listeners and viewers. Um, you should, if you are not staying in Elisenheim at the moment, it's definitely a place that is worth a visit and maybe just, you know, drive around Elisenheim and get a feeling for it. Trish, thank you very much for uh, talking to us this morning. Thank you very much for having me again. Just like that